Following a few days I took to have some time to myself offline and away from PlayStation altogether. Today, this afternoon, I make my return back to the PlayStation grid. I see there aren't too many people online from this, so that'll be good for me to slip in, slip out, bada bing, bada boom, and I can go do my own thing. Although I have the option of going back to the Transformers stuff today, I will instead choose not to. I'm going to go on after this and go do some Uncharted, do something other than playing a Transformers video game for right now. Oh wow, Spawn's still online. Let me send him a quick message. It's been a while since I talked to him. Being back online now, my schedule for everything I'm doing is also going to have to change and meet everything accordingly. Because I'm trying to balance things in real life and balance things in a video game now, so a few things are starting to catch up to me. And so I'm not going to be able to stay as concentrated in playing a lot of these games as I usually do. And so I'll just take the wins and the losses as they come like I usually do. If I win, yay. If I lose, hey, it's not the end of the world. There's always another time. The way in which I do my content also will not change. However, the rate at which I, I send it out to the public for all of you to see, that is going to change because in light of other things that happen IRL, I don't have access to my equipment as often as I usually do. So whenever I'm online is only when I'm online and then that's it. And then I head off because I have to share my TV and I have to share the things with other people right now. So it's my time is heavily diminished. And that's fine, because it allows me other things to do IRL aside from keeping my head fixated amidst the online realm, as if I have like a no-life type of mentality, if that's how I wish to articulate it as such. Additionally, I'm also going to answer a couple of questions that people have here that was left on my email feed. I have time right now, because I'm not going to do anything right now. I'm just going to sit here and check out see who's on what's not so I'm gonna answer some of your questions while I'm sitting here real quick I see one of your questions here was an obvious one about why I don't have a PlayStation 4 yet yeah I know that's a really unusual setback because everybody else seems to have a PlayStation 4 or is slowly becoming a PlayStation 4 enthusiast telling me why don't you have the PlayStation 4 why aren't you playing the PlayStation 4 dude you need to get a PlayStation 4 dude you need to upgrade <sighs> I wish people would kindly fuck off about that I want to have the PlayStation 4 honestly I do I have the system here the system is not able to connect to the online services where I am right now it this it, it, with the initial process of even hooking up the PlayStation 4 it can't recognize my landline. This all originally started in trying to access the 2.55 update, which is downloaded from PlayStation.com online onto an excess media source in order for the PlayStation 4 to recognize it. This I did from this USB drive here, the flash drive. I did it downloaded the PlayStation 4 update file from online straight to the flash drive flash drive to the PlayStation 4 PlayStation 4 recognized that the flash drive was an alternate media source however it did not acknowledge the process in setting up the update process so I can get online everything I have is set for Wi-Fi as it should but it's not connecting I don't know why it's not connecting. I don't know. And at this point, I really don't care anymore. I've made my phone calls and I've mentioned this to other people, but nobody knows what the hell I'm talking about because nobody went through these types of links in order to just access the PlayStation 4 menu or to just activate the PlayStation 4 in general. Nobody I know has had to access it and go through this much trouble. So hey, good for you if you haven't done it. Because guess what? I have to tolerate this crap in order to do something so simplistically didactic. So you'll have to excuse me if I'm not so ecstatic about PlayStation 4 or all you PlayStation 4 enthusiasts that keep inspiring me or encouraging me to get a PlayStation 4 because I want to tell you all to fuck off. But I know that you are trying to help. I'm still in the process of talking with people and... Simply put, just talking with people that can give me a conclusion to work with here that doesn't require me to blow away any more money than what I already am doing trying to solve this problem. 
I know you guys want to see PlayStation 4 content from me rather than the other options I have that's being viewed right now, but this is where I am, and this is what I'm trying to work with right now. I just need you guys to work with me. That's all I ask. Another question asked here was regarding what type of new content I'm going to be posting on my channel. Now, in addition to the content that you can already see from Jacob the Usher's streams and or content posted from the PlayStation 4 that he's posting through my channel, that's one option right there between Destiny on PS4 or Minecraft or even Fall of Cybertron on PlayStation 4. And then there's my content. Also, if you have any questions com well not so much questions but if any challenges or any particular challenges or combat challenges that you wish to see or see done by all means please post them in the comment section below or let me know in another text or email over time that way I can take a look at this or Jacob can take a look at this to see what it is that we can do in order to try and execute said challenges or tests or ideas because he could do the same thing on the PS4 just like what I'm doing on the P PlayStation 3 so you know leave a comment let me see what else we have here while I'm skimming through my emails a lot of these other things are just a lot of particular hate mail and like I already said to enthusiasts of next gen I tried to be nice about it and I'm not going to be nice about it anymore to you guys. So if you guys post about, you know, you need to upgrade or if you're happy about seeing PlayStation 3 go, hey, why don't you go? Because I'm staying true to my fans and I'm staying true to my subscribers by sticking to the content I originally show and that I have been showing since the first time I came online. I'm not changing anything I'm doing. I'm slowly adapting it and trying to upgrade as best as I can and show a little bit more or show content a little differently but I'm not changing what it is I'm doing otherwise it changes the response of my audience and while changing things up is nice every now and again that way it keeps the audience guessing and it keeps you intrigued and it keeps you watching I don't intend to change everything I'm doing permanently to something else which would then cause a considerable amount of uncomfortability See, and then another question here was exactly why it is that I decided to take a break. I decided to take a break from doing anything and distancing myself from everybody in the online world altogether for a few days for my own good. Because it's getting too involved, both communities are getting too overly dramatic. I don't enjoy being around drama, nor do I enjoy being around dramatic people. You all know who you are. And so I decided, wait a minute, I'm a grown adult here. I'm a grown ass man here. I'm just gonna just distance myself and whatever happens, happens, and I'm gonna come back online when I choose to come online. Not when I have to be asked or requested constantly or spammed messages. Hey, can you help me with this? Hey, can you help me with that? I don't mind helping you, but there's a limit to when and how many times that you keep asking me. Helping people is a part of what TAC does, but I have my limits, and my limits are just stretched right now between talking with lots of different people, clan battle after clan battle after clan battle, uh, my responsibilities to my clan, to clan TAC, to what me and ARG both share together, uh, and juggling back and forth the random challenges I keep getting back and forth between games and the calls I get every now and again and the messages on Destiny it's just a lot of game juggling and it's a lot of community juggling and I can't always perform at my best because I have the mindset when I do one thing I stay in that one in that one area for a set amount of time that way I can do my best and not always keep losing when I go from here to here to here to here to here to here and it's just a lot on my mind and I just get tired very easily right now between that and then juggling new responsibilities in real life that I have to deal with, which I will remain silent. And so I decided to just leave and just not tell anybody and just take care of me and not worry about anybody else. You can call me selfish and call me whatever the hell you want. I don't care. 
But the point is that I need to take care of me. Otherwise, I can't help you. You can't help other people if you can't help yourself, right? And so here we are. I am back online, finally. It's just that my time has been significantly compromised, so I'm not on all the times when I would like anymore. I can only be on when it is that I am able to be on. And so with this, I will set in mind what matches I have set up to do and juggle it as best I can. If things change, then it's my loss, and I'm prepared to accept that. Anyway, I will not digress on the negatives, my friends and my viewers. Stay tuned as best as you are able and see what type of new content I have for you guys, be it Transformers relevant or non-Transformers at all. Till next time, till all are one. I love you all. Thank you.